Jared Poland. Frono's photo. Dot com and recently I got to spend a day at NASA in Houston, Texas at the neutral buoyancy tank to capture images. Now I want to show you a couple of scenes, two particular scenes where I got two what I think are some of my best images that I've ever captured, but one of them took place over a 90 second period. They gave me 90 seconds to shoot with free reign where I could actually cross over the line I wasn't allowed to cross. And then the other one was like three minutes of waiting and then something happened. Now before I show you those images, the video that you're going to see was captured from my Nikon Z7's electronic viewfinder. So we record that with an external recorder like an Atomos and what you're seeing is exactly what I was seeing when I was shooting the photos. You see all my settings and you see when I take the pictures. So at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you a slideshow of some of the best images that I captured at the neutral buoyancy tank. But now let's turn over here and run the footage. Remember, I have 90 seconds to get the images. So I'm showing you all 90 seconds here to show you exactly what I got. So they gave me 90 seconds. Before, when they were getting the astronaut set up in this area, I wasn't allowed to go into this area to get pictures. So when he's like, dude, you could go do this, I was like, all right. I had the 24 to 70 on there, the 2.8 Z lens. You can see my settings, 120, 1 125th of a second at 2.8 ISO 800. And I'm just going for just these full body shots, then turn the camera and get some portraits. But what I really wanted to get was a pretty well-rounded story, which is get some wide angles, get some tights, get some mediums. And that's why I moved off to the side to try and get these images. Now, these weren't the best of the best, but what I really wanted to do was switch over to the 105-14, which is what I'm doing right now. Go into my bag, switch lenses, 105-14, for whatever reason, let me pause it here real quick to show you my settings. I'm at 1 one twenty-fifth of a second at f1.8 ISO 800. I have continuous autofocus on. I am not using IAF because I could not trust it to hit where I wanted to hit, especially through the helmet. And I'm also at 1.8 and honestly, I think the only reason I was at 1.8 is because when I put the lens on the camera with the F to Z adapter, it was already set to 1.8 and I was like, just wanted to shoot. Normally I would have put that at 1.4 because I think the Z7 would have done a perfect job nailing the eye, but it was at 1.8, my exposure looked fine and now we can see what happens. So quickly you see I dropped the ISO to, 500, uh, to 640 and I start shooting right away. As soon as his eye turns, let me rewind and show you this, watch this. So here's where his head is looking off to the side. Boom, as soon as he turns his head, I'm capturing images and my focus point is already right here on his eye. I knew it needed to be on his eye. That's what I'm looking for. Why would I focus on the nose? Why would I focus anywhere else other than the eye? So as you saw right here, when I got my composition right off the bat, you can see that I'm putting the focus point right on his eye. And then as soon as the head turns, I started shooting. And this is where I got I think the most amazing picture that I could have possibly gotten of an astronaut. Uh, and, and by the way, I'm letting it play out here because this was just maybe 30 seconds that I had with this and I didn't want to overstay my welcome. I already felt like I was overstaying my welcome. I already took eight, nine, 10 pictures of pretty much the same thing and I don't want to piss off the guy in the astronaut suit, AKA the astronaut. This is the same thing that happens when you're on photo shoots. Don't overstay your welcome. If you feel like you're staying on something too long, then move. The only time I would stay on something too long is if I knew I didn't get the shot yet and I needed to get it. I'd rather say, I'm sorry, but get a great shot than not get that great shot. Let me show you that image. This is what that image looks like. This is the fully edited. I was blown away when I zoomed in because I was like, wow, this is sharp as can be. But then I noticed the right eye, or sorry, his left eye. And I was like, the flag, the American flag is right there in his left eye. And he's looking right at me. I just love the, the, the composition. He's pretty much centered where he needs to be. I also noticed right here, we have more American flags, and I just thought that this was a fantastic image. 
now's a good time to tell you that I'm gonna let you play with this RAW file. You can download the RAW file over on my website. You can use it for personal use. That means if you would like to print it on your printer at home or order it from Adorama Pics or someplace like that, you are more than welcome to do that. But do not try to sell it as your own because it's my photo and it's for personal use. But if you would like to purchase a print from me that is either signed or signed and numbered as a limited edition art print, the link is up on the screen where you can go ahead and do that. There's a bunch of different sizes, but like I said, if you'd like to print it out and print it on your own, it's just not gonna be signed. Or if you'd like to purchase one, you can purchase one from me. Now the second shot is this image right here. So what's happening here is the astronauts were already put into the water and he bobbed up, which I didn't think was gonna happen, and I nailed it. The eye just came out of the water and what makes it perfect is the fact that he's looking at me. I gotta I got tell you this. I waited in the same spot, shooting some photos of him in the water. We're gonna fast forward through that section in just a second. But I waited, focused in on him, just getting pictures of him in the water, waiting for the water to stop moving, just so that I could get a clear shot of him down there. I thought he was already down. I didn't know he was gonna pop back up. I'm staying focused right there on him with a 70 to 202.8. You can, I'm, I'm fast forwarding as you can tell, but I'm taking pictures of him in the water. I didn't think they were gonna be great or anything, but I thought it was kind of cool that he's just floating there. I realized that he starts to pop up a little bit. Watch this. Did you see, he's popping up. And that's when I put my focus point where I think his eye is gonna be coming out of the water. And this is where I have the vision of capturing an image with him popping out and having his eye come up. You see that right there? Let me go back. That's not the keeper image that you just saw. That's not good enough because it, it just, it, it just doesn't look good. So I waited and waited again. I took a couple, that one didn't work. He goes down, none of those shots were as good. I don't know why I stayed on the pool knowing that he was already in. I could have packed up and started to walk away, but something told me to just get on my knee on the side of the pool and just stay focused with the 70 to 200 just in case something happened. And it did happen. But the first time he bobbed up could have been the last time and it wasn't even a good shot. So I wanna fast forward closer to the winning keeper shot and let it play out. So he's spinning around, he's spinning around, there's bubbles coming up. Watch this, here it is. There, bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. There it is. Pop, 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 pop. And that was it. You see how fast that happened? Let me show you again. Pop, 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 pop. I know I don't need to say pop, pop, pop and give you sound effects, but that's how fast it happened. He comes out of the water. My focus point is right there on the eye and I nailed it. I'll show you that image right here. Nailed it. That came out of nowhere. Just because I stayed patient and I waited there for two, three minutes until something happened. And sometimes you wait for three, four, five minutes, an hour, and you never get the shot. In this case, it popped up and, I was, and, and he was looking at me. So part of it was the luck of him looking at me. And the other part was I was prepared to capture it just in case I did get lucky. Again, the point of this video was to show you how quick some of this stuff happens. There's sometimes that people leave comments like, I would have done this and I would have done that or I would have used this lens or I would have used that lens. When you've got 90 seconds to shoot, you're just going on emotion and and your skill set, because I've been doing it so long, you just feel it out. Now that doesn't mean that I'm gonna get a winning shot every time. It may not happen or I may mess up. In this case, I had the 90 seconds and I think I got one of the best pictures I've ever taken. And just these two photos, even though these two images can stand on their own, I still do have a pretty good photo story of the astronauts getting dressed. And you're gonna see that at the very end of this video when we run a little bit of a slideshow. But again, I wanna remind you that you can download this raw file over on the website. It's for personal use. Do not try to sell it. Or if you'd like to purchase signed and numbered limited edition prints from me, the link is up on the screen as well as down below. And I wanna thank you you guys very much for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below if you have any questions. And now I'm going to sign off and then show you the slideshow. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. Roll the slideshow.